that the energy in the information. They're changing once you understand that you're going to be okay and you dissolve your problems, okay? Sometimes people need to dissolve what created it. So today somebody stepped into my clinic, today, where one of her relatives, very close relative, got in trouble immediately. Something very big happened to that person. She got, per she got in pain and sick and cry crying, she came. How long it took for her to develop that? One second, she got a phone call. The phone call was a bad phone call for her. She was here today. She couldn't bear it. So it took a second also to react, reactivate her and tell her, listen, it's not permanent. It's very short, live, don't worry about it. She said, I know, okay, thank you. And she got out walking okay and she was l less stiff, more loose and smiling. When she came in, she was almost crying all the time. Okay, pain, pain is, is, a, is a tool within your body for certain things, not for everything. So if you have fear, that will be a different type of pain, fear, anxiety. But if you will be sitting on a nail, the pain needs to warn you immediately that you should move out of there. If you will have a slow developing pain in your tooth, it will warn you because it will come first just from cold water. If you don't understand it, it'll come for more water. If you don't understand it, it will come a little bit by a little bit more permanent, right? Then you know, okay, so I'm going to the doctor, he's going to drill, close it in. So pain has that immediate, uh, immediate uh, warning or slow developing warning, and then chronic warning, okay? So what people doing with pain, usually when they have pain, what are they doing? They're taking painkillers, is it right? Okay, so you take a painkiller, you're treating the problem? No. no. So the pain will persist a little bit more and more and more because your disease will grow or your, or, or your um, inflammation will be worse and worse and worse, but you subsiding the pain, it's not going to work, short term. But my question is how you want us to keep a positive state of mind? How do you do that? I don't want positive. I want constructive. Big difference. How do you do that when you're in pain? Okay, you ask yourself, what is the pain telling you? Yes, what? And how I deal with that? What I do with that? Is it in my control? Is it not? If it's not in my control, I'm not worried. I'm dealing with it a different way. If it's my control, I'm dealing with it in a different way. But I understand that I have the privilege to have pain to let me know what I'm doing with that, what I'm doing in my life, where I'm shifting myself. Is it a physical shift? Is it a mental shift? Is it a biochemical shift? Is it all together? On and on. <clears throat> okay, how, much, how long it takes us to be healthy? Longer. So it, then, the healing is fast, the, is fast but the, the help of the tissues can take a long time. But it will happen. So that's why when I say it will be okay, so you build it up for that. Okay, next. So pain is, again, it's warning. We understand that, right? All of us, if doesn't, somebody doesn't understand, I have a hammer, it can come close to me, and then you go away from me. Next. Warning signs, pain, disease, illness, only. Warning signs. Okay, so sickness, pain, fear, and others, are they blessing or curses? Blessings, it's okay, it's blessings. Or, or a curse? A curse. curse. There you go. We got a curse there. It's a curse. Okay. Why? Why do you want to be cursed? Very good. So let's say that, um, that you have um, severe blood pressure condition, but you don't have a headache or symptoms at all. And then one day you'll get a heart attack on the spot or brain aneurysm. And then you're gone in a second, but you, because you didn't have the warning of the pain. So again, it's just a warning. So a pain or disease is only signals. So if you didn't have them, something will happen to you and you will miss out. Next. So this girl, her name is Pascal Belkovich. I, this is the, she gave me that pictures right there. 
she came to be, she is Paralympic for Olympics. The only one in the world that, that are participating in four Olympics in different sections, a different type of sports. So I work with her through London to now, all the Olympics till now, and now we're working in Tokyo. But if it will be, I don't know. Um, and she, when she was 16 years old, she went to the metro or the train in Paris, and she, near Paris, somewhere. She slipped because it was icy, and the train ran over both her legs from here. And she was a dancer. And she was laying on the tracks for 40 minutes because nobody was there. It was 6 o'clock in the morning, and more trains coming. So she made that curse to a big blessing. She have two kids, beautiful kids. She have a husband, she have strong head. She's lecturing all over Israel and before also out. She's doing great. And a lot of people, she's a model for a lot of people to, to follow because she made the curse into blessing. Exactly. So why we touch? Why we, when you're laying down, we create a contact on your body, because we're activating biological energy with biological energy. We're activating it in different depth, in different areas, different time, different lengths. We're doing a lot of things with it. And you need to understand something very important. We as a human being working <coughs> between brain waves and hormones. Our brain waves have parallel Hormonal, be uh, hormonal behavior. So when they are both working in synchronization, in the correct form, we are healthy. So when I create contact in your body, it resets your body and restarts your body and resets your brain waves and your brain energy compartment synchronization with your body, hormones, nervous system tissues and then that's how you restore health you reset the system you restart the system and you upgrade the system that's what we're doing when we're doing body contacts on you very precise ones and when we do that as a, you see that we're changing the brain waves that change the hormonal system then the hormonal system change the emotional and immune system that change our physicality, physical be, uh, forms. And then body, mind, and then back again to the brain, and it's a cycle that we activate. And you, later, you retain that. And your body's continuing doing it more and more and more as more we do that. So here, we're dealing with the, this, this vehicle here, F-15, is costing like $100 million. And you need to fix the wings, the wheels, the steering gears, everything. But if you're not dealing with the two pilots there, this whole machine is worthless. Here we're dealing with your inner, inner pilot, brain, nervous system, okay. emotion. Now, very point, very important point. That's where the healing and restoration of our body and mind coming into play. Which means, when somebody comes here and he, he has a minor neck pain, a minor neck pain, uh, formed three days ago. So when he comes here, he, he comes at zero at the water level. Just to restore him back a little bit above the water so he feels okay with himself. But as deeper his disease, injury, or illness goes when he comes here, he is lower under, uh, is, is, is situated lower under the water in minus health, in minus health. Therefore, when patients come to me, I look as to what is the depth of their illness, sickness, pain, mental state, emotional state, how, f how long they carry it. How deep is it? How, that's how we can determine what to do with them, which, which of the five medicines.
to put in for them and how long it will take. And some are deeper than others. So that's how I construct it. Okay? Remote treatment. <clears throat> when the, as we know, and quantum mechanics tells us that everything are fields of energy, atoms in the creating fields of energy. So the space between us is not empty. We are fully connected at all times, at all given times. And the distance doesn't matter. So we can activate people he from here, or wherever I am, to wherever they are for treatment. And we're doing that. And I develop it more and more and more. So Dr. Plotkin, Dr. Plotkin is here, he's a guest for of us. Do you, uh, are you familiar a little bit with uh, AK? Okay, oh, apply kinesiology, you, you apply, you're using it? Sometimes. Sometimes. So if um, you understand that, so I want to show you something. Is it okay with you guys? Um, lights, please. <clears throat> yes. Can I have you for a second? Yes. So, <clears throat> so if we want to affect this guy, let's say now, power of force, okay? So are you right or left-handed? Right-handed. Yeah. Okay. Put your arm, right arm up, and you can open that thing. This is only a demonstration, okay? It's nothing but demonstration. So when I push hard, resist, okay? Yeah. Resist hard. So you have good resistance. You feel that? Okay. Now I can hang on you and put your hand down. That's not the point. The point is if you have enough put, if you have enough resistance. Okay. So he has good resistance now. I'm going to go to the other room and cancel, make it less resistant. Yes. Okay. And then I'll fix it. Okay. I'll be right back. Now there is always a question: you put more force or less force? No. I put the same force. You become stronger or weaker. I go to that room, come back, and you'll see that it'll be weaker. <clears throat> Ready? Okay. Put your arm. Resist as hard as you can. Come on, come on. Yeah, I can do it on you if you want to. <laughs> okay. It's not the strength, it's what happened to his nervous system. I'm going to fix it for you now, okay? It's fixed. So resist now, okay? okay. You felt that? That's good. So it doesn't matter the dis thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. So it doesn't matter the distance. It's what you're doing with that frequentization, energy, what you're doing with that. You can affect anybody from a distance. It doesn't matter what he has to. <clears throat> you need to prepare for that and, 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 and we asking permission and time and it's, it's involving a lot of things. So, but that's because we are 99.9999 energy. Very little material that is formed as a material so we can experience this world. That's the only reason. Okay. Next. Yeah, then I'll put the lights on. Okay. That's it. Thank you. So this was it. And if anybody has any questions, I'll be happy to answer. Please. I feel like I'm the geek of the cells. No. No, 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 no. That just shows intelligence. I, I don't want to tell you what it tells on others. I know. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Okay, so when you're touching, it's neither, okay? When you touch the body, you touch actually a field. Mm -hmm. If the field is not synchronized, not in its correct vibrational energy, and I don't need to know yours. It's like, I'll give you an example, okay? You're coming with your Jeep and your battery is low. Mm -hmm. Somebody comes with another Jeep and he puts his, a cables to your battery. 
and give it a jump. That's it, one time shot, right? It activates your Jeep back to life, okay? With human being, it's the same, but almost the same. So when your systems are going out of whack, out of frequentization, because of a reason, you reactivate them. You reset them and reactivate them to it. And you enhance it more and more and more. Because two things. One, you might have damages that will need more and more and more pushing them to be in its, their correct forms. For example, I'll give you an example. We had a kid here. She been in severe pain, 8 year old, severe pain for two to three weeks. She'd been to Hadassah in Karim. Her father told us that she was examined by eight professors. Some of them special child professor, uh, uh, child uh, doctors. Uh, pediatricians for that, pediatricians for that, pediatricians for that. One month, I think, she came here with MRIs, with all the, all the exams. And um, she didn't sleep. She was in constant pain. She was on, she was on um, optalgine for adults, doses, because it won't go away. And she was crying all the time. She wouldn't eat. She would, 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 nothing. And um, I frequentized her, first time. Frequentized her. She fell asleep. And the father, he was like, he was worried. She didn't sleep for about three weeks or a month. And she was on high doses of Talgin and Akamol. She fell asleep. Now we, we, and I told him, everybody went home. And I left her for another half an hour to an hour to sleep. That was the first sleep in a very long time. We did only frequentize her. All we did. And when we woke her up, she didn't want to wake up. She said, no, no. And she came in, she slept on the chair here. And then she went to sleep on the chair. So he did all that every day, and she wouldn't go home. She felt so good. Now she's after the fourth treatment, or third. She's no pain. She's back to school. She's eating. She's doing everything in a very short time. So, no, no, thank you. That's not the idea. The, the idea is when you put on back their correct frequentization, their body is doing everything. I'm not doing nothing with you. Just activate you to activate yourself. Self-healing, it's everything is you self-heal. Everything. You self-sick and you self-heal. Unless you're getting injured from the outside. That's another story, by the way. But that's a different story. Also, we, we are there too for that, for injuries. Like they had to say car accidents, I had an accident, nothing is an accident. But that's a different, that's a different day. So I'll take his question, then you. Uh, does age have much to do with it? She's young. Really. Yeah. So when you're older, does it do you the same? Yes. So age have to do with what I showed you with the mountain under the water, with the, with the glacier under the water. Age will might take you with your system lower below. So it will take a little bit longer time to bring you up. Another thing, she had it for a month, what she had. And somebody else can have it for 20 years, 15 years, 30 years. I have somebody here with 30 years. And they say, how come after a week I'm, I'm not OK? I said, let's talk about a year. OK, and then a year will be OK, for example. Um, yes, please. First of all, okay, it's, it's very good to tell me because when we look at you, we want to go and, and see all the signs that you have. So to know that we need, we probably need, as more signs you have, we'll have to deal with you for more aspects of ultimate medicine, okay? So with this child, for example, we're dealing right now with two aspects only. And with you, we might have to deal with four aspects or five aspects. Yes, it's very important. That's why we're taking extensive uh, history. And then, but you, yes, you need to let me know. And then we need to work with a deeper and deeper. 
we're going to sit, for example, with them longer for, for certain things, on and on and on. Yes, it's very important. Anybody else? And when you give us this frequency, is it at the <clears throat> Very good question. Yes. How? Um, you see, she asked a very good question before. I'll touch him, what will happen? So when you're going to the lifting room first day, a gym, and, you go, and you're going to be in the gym after two years, you'll know who's been in the gym for two years and who's in the gym first day, right? So you exercise your mind and your body more and more and more and with a very powerful way that as what you give, you also have. So you build yourself more and more and more mentally, physically, biochemically. You're becoming sharper, your mind, your body. When you do that, you're thinking. So I need to be an example for you. And when I give you what you need, if I'll be very sick or ill, it will be, I can still do it. It's not the best example because I don't have it to give you. It's not giving you a pill. It's giving you energy, information, vibration. It's different than giving you a pill or prescription. Very big difference. Now, for example, you don't want your surgeon to be ill or sick with foggy brain and shaky hands. True. You want your surgeon to be in great shape, shape, happy, confident, sturdy hands, clear, clear mind when he's operating on you. If you see him, or your pilot, by the way. Can you be in your I'm sorry? Can you be in your yes. Yes. No, I mean yes. Absolutely, yes. We are our self-healers first. Second, sometimes I need a jerk out from somebody else. And I need to know when, and I do that. It's less and less, but sometimes yes. Okay, because I need to know when I need a hand from the outside to put me in level to to keep doing what I'm doing correctly. But I know when I'm going to be sick and I prevent it. I know when I'm going to be injured and I mostly prevent it. Mostly because I get carried away, I want more. Mostly I prevent it, mostly, not all the time. But then put it back to myself. So stay, try to stay in line, in line with my vibrational frequency. First, from my mind. First. First of all, then accurate food, then accurate behavior, on and on and on. Thank you very much. Thank you. Unless somebody have a question. Okay, okay, we'll deal with you. No worries, no worries. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.